Hello everyone, welcome to Business ERP Solution new release uh, demo video. So in the latest release, uh, here is the login screen. We have updated uh, some new, added some new feature basically. If I uh, log into the system, so this is the dashboard. Uh, based on the customer feedback and also the few client feedback, we have added recently some new uh, important reports. So I'm just to go jumping to the direct to the report. Uh, uh, first one is item report, stock item report. So in this report, you can uh, visualize the current stock, total stock, like uh, quantity and sub quantity and the entire total. So three columns, so you that easily uh, check the current stock details and also you can print as well and the next important report uh, that is customer report uh, so let's say one customer have 10 transaction you can uh, check the customer report uh, into the um, sales report under the sales report you can check the customer report and also uh, you can check customer wise so default customer working customer and uh, if we select the uh, second one second one don't have any invoice yet i'm just going to myself and shahid i have just uh, purchased uh, two uh, i have just purchased five uh, different items and uh, one two three four different items uh, under the two invoice so here's the invoice number one and number three and number four so you can check the customer wise uh, transaction as well um, now, uh, now I'm going to um, back to the uh, business ERP dashboard. So we have two different dashboards. So first one is uh, default. Once you are going to log in, then you can get this dashboard like uh, uh, summary to uh, summary of this application to the invoice today, invoice this month, and also the recent invoice pie chart. Uh, uh, pie chart uh, basically representing uh, item wise earning. And another dashboard is business ERP. Uh, so this is the shortcut. You can uh, you can go to the uh, action from here, like new sales, sales report, customer list, category list, attendance report, other things. So first we have uh, like uh, customer details. So uh, in this application, main two feature is like uh, sales and. Uh, three major feature like uh, sales items and the purchase so you have to purchase something and uh, that item uh, purchase item will going to the item and uh, you are once you are going to sales then you have to select some item that is the uh, uh, that is come from the item so sales purchase and item management so uh, and sales is related to the customer and purchase is uh, related to the uh where uh, like supplier so we have the supplier and customer list as well so here is the customer list you can add the interact customer list based on your needs and demands also during the creating invoice you can uh, uh, instantly create the customer info uh, we have also additional the pause module you can uh, you can perform the pause operation here if required uh, based on your business needs uh, recently we have updated the pause uh, some new feature like instantly you can just uh, save and print uh, for a quick uh, pause operation if we select some random item uh, random items and uh, if we click just <clears throat> click the full paid and save and print it will uh, automatically go into the print option uh, see uh, also in this release we have added like half paste printing option so currently showing the half paste printing option uh, and this set setup is dynamically uh, dynamic option you have to just go into the system setting and company info into the company info uh, like uh, invoice print with percentage 50 percent and if we're going to uh, make it like invoice right margin percent 50 percent so it will be zero then it will be a full piece and now hopefully it will uh, yes it is showing the full piece uh, also we have added like uh, uh, qr code uh, with uh, some encrypted information uh, every invoice will uh, include the qr code as well and if we're going back to the pause module so you can perform the pause operation also another option like item chart and uh, you know, 
it will show the items and if we select some uh, item and there is a top left top right there is a card and you can continue the checkout from here also you have option if you want to add additional item you can add from here and if i select the full page it will perform the full page operation also we have different uh, option action option like save and print save drop and and if i click the save and print it will uh, save the invoice into the system and going to the print option with qr code and the item details and the payment details also the customer this is the company info and this is the invoice details and this is the customer details with the logo logo is dynamic you can change the logo based on your uh, company uh, logo you can change from the company info so i'm going to the manage sales module in the sales module uh, you can uh, create random invoice based on the client demands so i'm just selecting some random item here and uh, going to create a test invoice tomato uh, full paid also here is the option for a customer you can select the customer if you want you can add the new customer as well and the other option you have the option like uh, brands which uh, brands is performing this operation uh, sales operation and 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 the currency currency is uh, uh, based on the uh, settings uh, you, we have a currency option uh, into the settings you can set the currency default then it will uh, default will uh, default currency will show here and uh, save and print so invoice uh, generated with the qr code also in this release we have additional item like a reference number previous version it was not added into the reference number you can add the reference number here uh, we can uh, we make sure the reference number into the invoice and it will uh, it will save into the system with this uh, invoice uh, of information so two uh, important things i already explained like you know, how to uh, how how you can perform your sales operation with customer interaction with more details uh, during creating the invoice and invoice uh, we are added to new uh, additional feature which is qr code with encrypted uh, inform user information uh, also the invoice the list is more interactive you can uh, perform the pause like simple uh, uh, print operation here and go to the invoice and return option if you click this uh, there is a op op uh, optional option uh, uh, if uh, accountant mis mistake mis by mistake uh, create uh, an invoice or a customer want to return their item then there is option like a return option if I click the return, then the details you can return the partial and enter invoice. And if I go to the manage purchase, um, here is the manage purchase module. You can uh, add new item. So I'm just going to add new item, and it will automatically uh, add it into the item. Uh, so let's say um uh, we have a like johnson current stock is uh three five uh, sorry quantity one four six so i'm going to add additional 200 item then it will automatically add here also we can see the item history with details so johnson uh, 200 and the supplier we have to select the supplier let's say common supplier and add items so full paid uh, safe purchase invoice safe successful so we have added to uh, 200 new uh, I item which is uh, Johnson if we click this details then we can see the item details so 200 now if we go to the item details and refresh this page and go to the like uh, item johnson so we can see the quantity increase uh, like previous uh, quantity was 146 uh, adding 200 now it is uh, 346 and if i click the johnson detail then we can get the details with the barcode as well for this item 
and uh, if we check the uh, item history then we can see the item history and the johnson if i click the johnson i'm oh, sorry history for item then initially uh, it was like 150 then three uh, one invoice and other invoice one and 200 is added newly so entire new item is three four six so you can check the item uh, history as well so in the item you can add out of stock low in stock damage item you can add the damage item also the lot of feature here and the warehouse management you can <clears throat> add new warehouse also and the warehouse you can check the warehouse items sorry i'm um, uh, maybe some issue here i will fix uh, uh for this video uh item request you can uh from the one warehouse to another warehouse you can request the item and also you can check the item transfer log and warehouse notification if uh, one one warehouse transfer item to another warehouse and the system settings uh, there is a details like company info email configuration for uh, email notification like use and uh, reset password and the registration and the tab, share invoices related to the email configuration payment type so this is the drop down data fellow and <clears throat> if we go to like uh, next uh, is uh, manage user management so this system is a uh, fully dynamic uh, uh, rule based management system so admin as a uh, currently i'm logging as the admin user admin user can access enter of this application but if i going to uh, like account and some uh, user like let's say accountant one then this user can access only his profile and dashboard and you can customize this user access from on the drop down like minus page access oh sorry i'm just showing the demo let me just uh, fix the demo from the actual actual thing so that we can change it uh, so i just disabled the demo user now we can change the user access let's say account and user one if i select minus page access then we can see just a dashboard item and his profile uh, he can access but if based on your admin decision you can add additional page for this user uh, if i going to log in using these credentials then we can check what happened and if we're going to log out then uh, log in we uh, log in with these uh, user credentials and hopefully we can check one two three default password uh, this user access details so as i mentioned earlier we can see only just his profile and user details and uh, the blank dashboard i'm just going back to the admin user again so that we can present the full complete demo uh, i already explained sales uh, purchase and customer info also the warehouse and item details and now i'm going to uh, just uh, <clears throat> presenting the user management and uh, you can set up the SMTP email settings here, sentiment history, also login history, audit log is a more technical item. So enter, uh, create an update, review operation, we check, you can check uh, from here, like create update. So enter any, any create an update operation, DB operation, you can check from here. And also uh, there is a huge reporting for this application item reporting uh, in, the, in this initial video, I explained the newly added video, but apart from the newly uh, new item uh, uh, report, newly item uh, report, apart from the new item report, we have uh, like high in, uh, demand item report, low in demand item report, highest earning, also the lowest earning for item report and into the sales report we have like customer sales report i already explained transaction summary product wise sales uh, transaction summary now you can check the transaction summary by branch wise let's say main branch and the branch one branch two all brands so you can check the branch wise transaction summary also you can check the product wise sales and transition by day and transition by year as well so this is the transaction sales re <clears throat> sales report also same goes for the purchase report 
and uh, expense report there is a expense module add as well you can manage your uh, company uh, business uh, expense uh, in this application also check the uh, expense report like expense details and uh, like expense by day and you can manage the expense module uh, like uh, manage expense and the expense summary and also uh, after the expense report we have like other report option you can check the print barcode from here item barcode you you can print the entire barcode from here and also additionally like attendance attendance report you can manage your employee attendance uh, from uh, check the employee attendance by employee uh, like mr tom mr bond like all employee from here so this is the overall uh, summary of uh, hope this application will cover the a small business uh, all needs like purchase sales and customer management also the uh, company reporting so if you are interested and like this application you can contact with us and uh, we'll give you the full technical support hosting also the uh, six month free uh, support like any bug any new issue also the some a new development a uh, small item we will do the fee and enter application will give you the full technical documentation complete source code and also the additional uh, diagram like e ERT diagram and this application build with the latest .NET sb.net 6 sdk and we have used uh, entity framework core mssq this application supported multiple database like mssql server mysql and the postgres postgres postgresql as well you can host this application into like uh, uh, windows uh, it's a like native environment also you can host like linux and the uh, mac os because you know the asp.net like cross platform and uh, apart from the technical details uh, this application uh, i already explained the feature details so i'm almost done so before closing the video if you are interested just uh, go to the code canyon already or contact with me I, I share the details in the video description so that you can contact with me thank you for watching this video see you in the next video